Hi, this is Pablo, and today we're gonna make the first real tutorial, okay, of uh, Factory IO in how to how to start learning uh, PLC automation, okay? Uh, this is the first, very first uh, scene for Factory IO, which is that one, tutorial one from A to B, okay? And we're gonna try to follow some of them later on. Uh, this first software, uh, sorry, this first tutorial is going to be uh, quite easy and we only have a conveyor a photo sensor here and then the container okay so the objective for this tutorial is only how to connect the conveyor output with this input in order to move the box or oh, sorry the container until it reaches the photo sensor. Once it reaches the photo sensor, the whole conveyor is going to stop. That's the whole point of this tutorial. Okay, it is in fact quite basic, but well, it's really good, easy exercise to learn how to communicate um, PLC simulator with um, this software with Factory IO, and at the same time learn how to what is a sensor, what is an input, digital inputs, okay, or Boolean ones, and then the same thing with the output, okay. Um, it's so basic that we don't even have the typical cabinet with the start, stop, reset, button, or nothing, no switches or nothing, so it is going to be very basic, okay. So please start trying to uh, download the software if you can. You have, as I said, 30 days of trial, and... If you have a different PLC, well, check in the website how to set this PLC with this software. Uh, if you have Siemens, I would recommend use PLC Simulator because then you don't have to worry nothing about other elements, okay? Like the physical PLC itself. And I would say trying to resolve this case, okay? It should be really easy. If you can, you have troubles, I'm going to make a solution, okay? And then we're going to resolve this problem. And if you can, well, I mean, it is too basic, so probably we are not going to have too much differences, okay? We will see later on how you can solve it in one way and I can solve it in a different way because uh, this design of PLC automation, it could change between one engineer and another one or one designer and another one. And, and maybe both ways are good. Maybe one, maybe yours is better than, than the one I was thinking, okay? In this one, as I said, in this case, it's so basic that probably, I mean, it's too basic. So we're going to only have probably one solution, okay? Um, so please try. Uh, if you want to change anything, please also go. I don't think here we have a lot of options to change, but try to solve it if you can. And then if you have problems, let me know or wait until we resolve this problem. And then you can compare with your own code, okay?